Hey, hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Idea Xbox through the week. Now, this week on Idea Xbox, we see a total of six releases. I am your host with the most, Manicado, and we are here to inform you. So, the first game is, of course, Runestone Keeper. I've been playing a little bit of this game recently, so there's a preview on the channel already. It's going to be out April 25th for the $10, and it's coming out everywhere. Except for South Korea. Sorry, Sang. <laughs> but um, this one was quite interesting. It was really difficult to find. Uh, as you can see from the screen, you got a kind of like this screen overview of kind of hex grid, and you explore each level, each dungeon, but it's definitely for you more kind of hardcore fans. I've heard lots of kind of things on Steam as well about it being really difficult to actually beat. But yeah, this is Runestorm's Keeper. This is the first game of next week, of this week, of this week, of next week. Now the second game is of course Death Road to Canada. It's also coming out April 25th for the price of $15. You control a car full of jerks as they explore cities, recruit weird people, rescue dogs, argue with each other and face gigantic swarms of slow zombies. It's randomly generated for a new story and rare events every time you play. Now I can't wait to check this one out, I haven't actually played it just yet, but it does actually look really fun. As you can see, kind of lots of stuff going on there. Now I'm not actually one for zombies, but I think kind of the comedic value to this actually kind of makes me want to at least try and invest in the game. Well, this has apparently been a huge uh, hit on Steam as well, so... I'm going to be checking this out Tuesday on the 25th and in a video, so I can't wait to actually show you more of the game. So yeah, that's a Death Road to Canada, you can pick it up April 25th. Now here comes the third game, yes, the third game at 3am. This is Emily Wants to Play 2. Now this release is also on the April 25th for $8, and this is of course a horror game. Now. This is actually a sequel. There was a game called Emily Wants to Play 1, which was the first one, which, you know, it was, it was a big hit. I used to watch lots of people on YouTube and Twitch play the game because it was so fun to see their reactions because there are lots of jump scares on this game. Now, in the second one, you actually play as an unlucky sandwich delivery guy. You know, on one of your kind of deliveries, you walk in, there's a bizarre event, and you get locked inside an office building. Now inside the building, you're actually locked there with strange dolls. And of course, I haven't played the original, but for those who have, you'll you know the good old dolls and their abilities. And there are actually some new dolls added in, so yeah, there's going to be lots of strategy involved. I think from remembering watching, I believe there was a, a doll which you couldn't look at, and then there was other dolls which you had to run away from, and you know, there's all the kind of different strategies to be in the dolls, but that's Emily Wants to Play 2, and I'm looking forward to watching lots of people get scared on it. I don't think I'll have the balls to play the game, so yeah. <laughs> on to the next one, please. And thus we move to April the 27th, and this game is Agatha and Knife. Embark on this twisted adventure with Agatha, a child torn between a love for eating meat and her friendship with animals. Join her as she discovers religion and creates her own carnivorism to convince the animals that their sacrifice of their flesh is the secret to eternal happiness. Tackle controversial topics through the eyes of a child in this satirical adventure. That lures you to dark corners of everyday life. Create your own religion piece by piece in this uniquely colourful and handcrafted world. Meet the peculiar characters of this psychotic adventure and uncover their stories that unfold as you progress during your quest. And as a reminder, all you have to do is click show more and it'll give you all the details about all the games. So yeah, this one I'm actually looking forward to. It looks kind of that, you know, I'm going to put that out there. Sorry for swearing, but I had to because yeah, Agatha Knife. Damn. Thank you. 
Now, the fifth game is very interesting. It's called Kog, and it's an episodic dungeon crawler game. And this one is special, as it's free to play. So yeah, I'm not sure if they're gonna load it with lots of mod transactions or kind of that's that. Um, you know, because obviously they need some sort of way to make money, or if it's just gonna be completely free. But it's an interesting one because I do love dungeon crawlers and. You know, I've been a big fan of Diablo Van Helsing and those type of games, so I'm kind of looking forward to this one. It says, While playing the story mode, you can switch your character in real time to face different kinds of enemies or obstacles. Hmm. That's quite interesting, isn't it? So you kind of choose, as you can see on the screen there, the, the mage, you can freeze the enemies and change to another character and then kind of attack them when they're frozen. But yeah, that's anyway, that's, that's Kogan. That was quite interesting. Now, the sixth game is, of course, Drago Dino, and this game is $10 and will also be releasing on April 27th. And, uh, you know, as you can see, this is a kind of a typical platformer game, and I don't know if it's because I see so many of them on Steam, the platformer kind of games with this art style. Um, I don't know, this one just seems to be kind of a tad below expectations of, of one. I, I don't really feel too impressed by it per se. No, I, I hope I'm wrong, I hope I get a... See, no, sorry, sorry to cut that out. I don't know if you've just seen in the trailer, it said a procedural universe, but it was missing the E in universe, you know, so... I mean, I just, I want to be proven wrong, of course. I hope this game is actually really, really fun, but from the kind of initial impressions, I, I feel it's kind of a little bit subpar. And, you know, again, I'm going to always remain honest in this. That's Drag or Dying, though. I hope I get proved wrong, I hope it's really a fun game, you know, I always do, I always hope the best for developers, but again, I'm, I'm not going to use that to hide facts, and you know, I'm going to remain unbiased as such, but I can't really say I advocate for this one too much, but hopefully I get to try it out, and hopefully it'll be fun. But that's it for all this week, I hope to see you again next week, for more info on the latest ID Xbox games, I'm Manikido signing out, and again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't for more awesome looks at indie games. Thanks.